welcome to Stratified Sampling with Qubits Education. In this lecture, you will know what a stratified sample is and know how to calculate a stratified sample. So, stratified sampling. Now, if you watched my previous lecture on data collection, I did touch on stratified sampling for about two seconds. Um, however, um, I will go through it, obviously, in more detail here. Now, a stratified sample is basically just a way of sampling data. And it makes sure that you get an accurate representation for each piece of data. Okay. It makes sure that the sample is proportional to the group size. So what that means is that if you had a school and it had 2,500 pupils in it, but you didn't want to um, you know, interview or give a questionnaire to all those pupils, you could say, I'm going to take a sample of 10% from each year group or something like that. So for example, here we have a table which shows the number of pupils in each year. Obviously, there's not as many students as I was giving the example just a second ago, but we do have the number of pupils in each year here. Now, in this case, it says, I want to take a stratified sample of 10% of the people. How many pupils will I need from each year? So all we need to do is find 10% of each year group. So 10% of year 7 is 32. 10% of year 8 is 31.1. We'll probably just round that down to 31. Okay, um... <laughs> Then year 9 is 10% of 380 is 38. Year 10 is 28.9, but we would just um, round that up to 29. And year 11 is 10% of 300, which is 30. So like I say, these decimal ones, we'd just round them to the nearest whole number. Okay, so that is basically all you have to do when doing a stratified sample. Uh, as a percentage. Now here is another example where the percentages aren't used. So it says that a class consists of 20 girls and 10 boys. I want a sample size of 10. How many boys and girls should be picked? So in this case what we need to do is find the total of these students which is 30. We then give the group as a fraction of the total. So we have girls 20 out of 30. Okay, because it's 20 girls out of 30 in total. So here it's saying I want a sample size of 10, not 10%, just 10. So now I have to times that by the sample size, which is times by 10, giving us an answer of 6.667. We can round that to the nearest whole number, which is 7 girls. Now for the boys, we write the fraction of the boys out of the total. So the boys is 10 out of 30. 10 out of 30 times by 10 gives us 3.33 recurring, which is a total of 3 boys. Okay, so on the previous slide we looked at it as a percentage, and on this slide we looked at it as just a number. So let's have a look at another example. A sample of 15 from 50 students in different student clubs. Okay, so basically I've got my club here, sport, drama and maths. And students, 27 sport, 14 drama, and 9 math. And it's saying that I want a sample of 15. That's what that means. It's not a very well written question. A sample of 15 from these 50 students. So there are 50 students in total. It's telling us that here. And it's saying that I want a sample of 15. So first of all, let's look at sport. I have 27 students out of a total of 50. I then need to times that by my sample size of 15 which gives me 8.1, so 8. So then for drama, we have 14 students out of a total of 50. Times that by our sample size gives us 4.2, or 4. And finally for maths, we have 9 students out of 15, uh, out of 50. Times that by our sample size of 15 gives us an answer of 2.7, or 3 students. Okay, and that's how you would stratify, you would find a stratified sample from that. Okay, so let's have a look at this problem then. Head teacher is forming a design team to help design a new school uniform. They want 50 pupils in their team and they want their team to reflect the number of pupils in each year group. They need us to calculate a stratified sample so they know how many pupils will be required from each year group. Okay, so let's have a look. The head has given you the information on the number of pupils in each year group. Can you calculate the number of people from each year who should be in the design group? So we've got a sample size of 50, and this, these are all my students. So I need to know the total number of students. So it's 852. 
and my sample size is 50. So first of all, year seven. Year seven has 158 students out of 852 in total. We times that by 50. So if you're struggling with how to do this on your calculator, do 158 divided by 852, press equals, and then press times by 50, and it will give you the answer. So 9.27, so we would say 9 in year 7. In year 8, we have 174 students out of 852 in total. So again, on your calculator, 174 divided by 852 and press equals. Then press times 50, because that's our sample size, giving us an answer of 10.21, or 10 students. Next we have year 9. As you can see in year 9 we have 181 students out of a total of 852. 181 divided by 852, press equals, and then times by 50, because that's our sample size. So that gives us 10.62, which we would round to 11 students. In year 10, we have 167 students out of 852, times by 50 gives us 9.8 or 10 students and in year 11 172 out of 852 times 50 gives us 10.09 which is again 10 students so calculate the number of people from each year who should be in the design group and there you have it okay so if you would like to pause the video I'd like you to have a go at this one by yourselves and press play for the answers Okay, if you've paused the video and had a go, let's have a look at the question. Debbie and Terry are carrying out a survey to see how much people spend on groceries. They have the following information about which people, sh uh, about which people shop at which supermarket in their town. So we have Sainsbury's, Tesco, Asda, Waitrose and M&S. And then we have the number of shoppers across the bottom. Terry wants a stratified sample of 20% from each shop. How many people from each supermarket should he survey? But Debbie wants to conduct a stratified sample of 200 people. How many people should she survey from each supermarket? Okay, well, we have a total of 19,150 people or shoppers. And for Terry, these should be our answers. And for Debbie, these should be our answers. So here, just checking that this adds up to 200. So this is Debbie's. And this is Terry's answers here. Okay, so he's actually got a bit of a better, he's got a better sample because he's got more people. So it's much better. Okay, so another question then. In a teenage professional football club of 340 players, 18 are aged between 11 and 12. If a stratified sample of, one, of size 100 were to be carried out, how many 11 to 12 year olds should be included in the sample? Okay, so for this one it's a little bit different. So you've got 18 are aged between 11 and 12, okay? It's not necessarily different in the way you work it out, but just be careful with the worded questions. Make sure you're taking out the correct numbers. 18 are aged between 11 and 12, and we're taking a sample size of 100. Well, if 18 are the ones that are going to be chosen, it's out of a total of 340 players. Don't forget to press 18 divided by 340, on your calculator and then press equals and then we times it by a hundred because that is our sample size and that gives us 5.29 so we would say five 11 to 12 year olds should be included in the sample okay okay so again another one pause the video and have a go at this one okay if you pause the video and had a go so the first question says, and this mm, this will probably come up, it's quite likely, describe a stratified sample. So this will come up on your exam. Okay, in, a, in stratified sampling, the population is divided into groups and random samples are taken from each stratum. Okay, so stratum means group and literally means layer. So you could say it like this. You could also describe it in your own words um, based on what you've learned today. If you would like to do that, and send me or comment on the video, describe in your own words what you think a stratified sample is. And then, you know, if you are 
confused or uh, it's not quite right, then I can let you know. Sorry, that's just my calendar coming up there. Um, so yeah, feel free to comment on the video with your understanding of a stratified sample and I can always comment on that and help you out a little bit. Typical question then, in a school I wish to sample 40 people from year 8 to year 10 for their favourite chemical compound. I'm sure loads of year 8 to year 10 students have got a favourite, but whatever. Um, I wish to do a stratified sample by year group. So how many students should I sample in year 10? So you basically need to look at year 10 and you've got 238. So 238 out of 576, but you're taking a sample of 40. You're not actually taking that amount. So you're going to do 238 divided by 576. The reason it's 576, by the way, is because that's the total. Don't forget you need the total of the students. And then we divide those, press equals, and then times by 40, giving us 16.527, which can be rounded to 17 people. I hope you've understood all of that. By now you should know what a stratified sample is and know how to calculate a sample, a stratified sample, okay? So I hope that made loads of sense. I'm sorry if I've gone too quick. I'm really trying to slow down. I know I talk fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I get overexcited about maths. Um, <laughs> Alright, so well done. Thank you so much for using Cube Education and I'll see you next time.